Welcome to Fret Not. My name's Rob. My name's Colton, and welcome to the Entry Level Metal Series. Hey guys, thanks for joining us on the channel. Uh, if you don't know anything about us, what we do is we go out and purchase guitars on our own dime. We're not sponsored. Uh, we come in and review them, and then we give you guys a chance to win. Yeah, all you gotta do to win them is share the video to a different platform, like the video that you are wanting to win the guitar from, um, subscribe, and comment done, D-O-N-E, in the comments. It's that easy, guys. Um, good luck to everybody. Stay tuned. Welcome to Fred Knot. My name's Rob. My name's Colton, and welcome back to the Entry Level Metal Series, where we have another diamond guitar. This is the Diamond Revenge ST Plus. That good old SG series. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool, man. Um, we picked this up. Uh, they had a couple of different colors. I just really thought we would go with the white. You know I'm a sucker for white. Yep. So um, really good playing little guitar. I um, think you'll be amazed at what we ended up paying for it as opposed to what, what it's supposed to cost. Mm -hmm. um, so we're just going to get straight into the specs on this. Um, this is, it has two of their custom pickups. Um, I don't know if I'd say they're PAF style, but they're closer to that. Maybe they're not as super high gain as some of the stuff we get, but hey, they sound good. Um, it's a uh, string through body. Um, it is what I've seen other manufacturers call a thin line style it's, guitar. It's, it is super thin. It's razor thin. But it is a mahogany body. Mm -hmm. And a mahogany neck, and it's a set neck. Yep. It has a rich light fretboard, yep. 24 frets. I believe it's on a 24.75 scale, um, and it just looks amazing. It does. It looks just clean, classy, yet kind of mean at the same time. Right, mm -hmm. right. Um, so you've been playing it. I've been playing it. I'll go first. I ain't scared. Um, it plays really well, and it does mimic the neck. And I know it has a lot to do with me looking down and seeing the SG cuts, but it does play a lot like an SG neck. Mm -hmm. I think it's a little thinner than most SG necks. Yeah. Um, plays really good. What do you think about it? I like it. Um, I, I absolutely love just how thin and light it is. Um, I would say most of the weight is probably in the neck, which might make it, you know, which might make it tilt maybe a little bit if you were uh, standing it or standing up playing it. But other than that, like if you sit down with it, it's just, it's nice. It's pleasant. It fits just kind of right in the pocket. It's so you notice on the back where they put that guitar strap at, they stuck it back there probably to try to offset because it's mm -hmm. a mahogany body and a mahogany neck. Yeah. But, but uh, um, the rich light fretboard, man, and those frets really, plays good. yeah, it, mm -hmm. it really plays good. So, um, as you know, we're going to be giving this guitar away. Uh, if you're new to the channel, you don't know anything about us, I hope the intro kind of helped you understand what we do. Um, all you guys out there, man, make sure you jump on our membership page uh, or go over and hit our super thanks button. Anything you guys can do really does help us. It keeps the, these lights are light <laughs> on for us, and it gives us the ability to be able to give these guitars away to you. Yep. So now the most important part of the show, we're going to shut up and let you hear this in a mix and then we're going to come right back we're going to talk price point how we got it um what we feel about the you know the guitar as far as a purchase goes if you're looking to purchase something and um is it worth your money yeah we'll be right back
Okay, we're back. You got to hear a little bit of it in the mix. Yep. Um, full disclaimer, this is actually a <laughs> renegade. It's not a revenge. You're stuck on them ones. We've, we've given away so many stinking <laughs> yeah. West Creek guitars, man. I'm nothing against them because we like West Creek. We think they're a really good value for mm -hmm. money. So you got to hear it. Um, maybe you can kind of listen to the pickups. If you're if you've been around the channel for a while, you know everything is played on one patch. Uh, we just use a single patch off the Quad Cortex. Try to give you guys something to kind of base some of this stuff on and kind of see how it is because... The way YouTube compresses everything, man, it's tough. I've bought pickups offline listening to them on a YouTube channel, and they don't sound nothing like that when you right. put them on a rig, you know? Yep. So that's kind of our forte is we just try to keep everything on one patch. So worst case scenario, you can go back and pull two or three guitars. It's all the same patch, no EQ, no nothing, just so it kind of lets you hear. Those are not really PAFs, but they're probably closer to the rock genre. Yeah. But you can make them do anything. Mm -hmm. But they play really well. The guitar is light. It is. Um, I don't know how I feel about them using a mahogany neck. It seems like if you was trying to make it light, you'd have put like a roasted maple neck on it. You know what I mean? To make it even lighter. It, yeah, they, they probably could have done that. Maybe it was uh, more of a, a tone decision. It may have been. Yeah. Because you got that. It's all mahogany. It's a set neck. Mm -hmm. Mahogany body. Um I don't think it has a lot of neck dive, but I believe it would, maybe with the strap on the way they have the position of the strap, it probably wouldn't have neck dive. Yeah. But I have a feeling if they didn't have that deal there, it might have a little bit because the neck is actually pretty heavy for that compared to that body. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a, man, you could Frisbee this thing. <laughs> <laughs> so full disclosure, I went to put it in one of my regular Super Strat cases and it does not go in there. It is too wide. Yep, it's got some uh, Shakira hips. Yes, it's got some hips to it. <laughs> All right, so we picked this guitar up. This is another Diamond guitar. Um, Diamond was bought out recently by World Music Supply. They're here in America. Uh, I think they had picked up like 1,300 of their guitars that they had in stock along with the purchase of the company. Now, I don't know if they're going to keep making them or not. We're, we're still not 100% sure on that, but... Um, all they did was take that whole lock, stock, and barrel, put it in a warehouse, mark it as B stock, and put it up for dirt cheap. Yeah. So this guitar retails for eight hundred bucks, seven ninety nine. Um, do you think, in a real world scenario, if it was seven ninety nine, would you complain a lot if you just walked in somewhere and it was seven ninety nine? No, I couldn't really complain too too much. Um, I mean, I could nitpick it, and that's just maybe aesthetically or something but right. but that's just nitpicking if if i paid you know if i paid that for this i would be i'd be super pleased okay yeah so you can pick this guitar up i don't know the exact price on it uh we bought multiple i don't think we got a discount because i don't think they give discounts but it's gonna be somewhere between two and three hundred bucks um and that's not bad for an eight hundred dollar guitar mm. um the, with the appointments on this guitar it is a little weird for me to play something this thin uh, but man, it plays good. It's really lightweight and yeah. it just has that core rock sound. Yeah. I don't know how to describe it. I don't know who it emulates, but it has that core rock sound and I could see you jumping around on stage with that, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and just in terms of playability, sound, um, how comfortable it is to, for me, sit and play mm -hmm. and I'm, how I imagine it would just not be very strenuous on your shoulder if you were to stand up and no, play No, I don't it. think it would be strenuous on it's, your shoulder. <laughs> that's not a bad price for a good guitar. So if you want to check out this guitar, any other, we're not affiliated. There's no link on this channel. You got to do all this on your own because we don't get nothing no matter how many of these you buy or don't buy. Nope. But you can go to World Music Supply. Now, they were having some issues with their website for a few weeks. I think it's corrected. Um, just go on World Music Supply, search Diamond Guitars. There's a bunch of different models. It will be kind of first come, first serve as to what they have. Um, but long story short, you could go on there. If you don't see a whole bunch of guitars on there just call them man because i had to end up doing that i just had to call them when the website was all messy and uh, super nice people um just really quick shipping it like i order in the afternoon ship out the next morning i order in the morning it ships out that afternoon so really good deal uh, we got it in a couple of days and they were doing free shipping at the time that's pretty good 
So anyway, um, we hope that you enjoyed seeing this. Now, there was a couple of different colors on this, but I'm kind of a sucker for white. I, uh, I dig the color. It just It's kind of kind of ghosty. I don't yeah, know. it neat. is. Mm -hmm. It is. I think it's a pretty cool guitar. And if you're in that two to $300 range on this, man, I think it's money in the bank. Yeah. You know what I mean? Good mm -hmm. little guitar. Solid. Um, and then they have, you know, two or three other, I, sh I should say probably five or six other different body styles, and they're going to range in price. Um, but I think the ones they have on sale, man, you know, we did those other two. Mm -hmm. We did the Blue Barchetta. Yep. Yep. <laughs> And then we did the, uh, the what is it, the saltwater taffy green? <laughs> yep, we did that one. Uh, what was it, the, the green and black one? The green and white one. Green and, Was it green and white? Yeah, it's green with that little white at the bottom. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's really yeah. cool. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's coming up in a couple weeks. So listen, make sure you stay tuned because this weekend we're going to be giving away that Jet, that Root guitar. Yeah. And uh, that's a really good guitar, too. And then right behind that is some more diamonds. Uh, make sure you go out to the page, man. Look at the entry-level metal series, mm -hmm. and it says guitar giveaways at the top of that playlist. There's always four or five guitars in there. Get on there, watch each video, follow the instructions. Make sure you get your name on it because, bottom line, somebody's going to win the guitar. And if your name ain't on it, you can't yell at me for not having a chance to win it. Yep. You have no shot if you don't try. Yep. So we don't need nothing from you. All we need you to do is to go on and follow the little instructions, and we're going to put it in a wheel. We're going to spin it. You win it. You win it. Yep. So uh, Diamond Guitars, mm -hmm. for our sake, because this company bought them out, I think we got a really good entry-level you know, package here. I man. think we did, too. Yeah. yeah. And uh, again, this is a renegade. <laughs> Not a revenge. <laughs> Don't listen to him. Right, right, right. <laughs> All right, guys, listen, we're humbled. We appreciate you. And until next time. Stay tuned.